What's up, everybody? This is a quick cap review. All right, so I'll wait for a couple of people to hop on here. What's up, everybody? I appreciate everybody that's jumping on here real quick. This is just a quick cap review. All right, this is gonna be fun. I just picked some of these up today, but um, we can also talk a little bit of Cowboys uh, as well. But this is gonna be really about a cap that I got here. I'll wait a little bit here before a couple more people get on here. How's everybody's weekend going? All right. That game yesterday was pretty badass. So uh, lots to good, lots to come from that. I think the combos are pretty close to nailing down their 53. You know, you probably got like maybe like four or five spots remaining to be battled out for in this final preseason game on Thursday. Remember, the Cowboys final game will be this Thursday, okay? So, you know, set your calendars for Thursday. That's the final game. All right, so let's get it. Let's get into this real quick, okay? Uh, New Era cap. They sent me this cap here. Uh, I guess this, you could call this a partnership now. I am uh, exclusive to New Era caps. I uh, just made the deal here recently. So they sent me a couple of caps and uh, they sent me this one here. The New Era Retro Line. The Retro Line. These are throwbacks to the 90s style. I had this growing up. The Shark Tooth. All right. Yeah, hit the hit like on this video. All right. Because uh, we all love the Cowboys <laughs> and uh, I appreciate all you guys. So hit the like button on this. All right, guys. Hit the like button. This is the Retro Cap Line. New Era just released it. It is a snapback. All right, so these aren't fitted. This will be a snapback, all right? This is an homage to the 1990s. Remember Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith wearing this. All right, so real badass, dude. You got a little shimmer. See the colors there? A shark tooth. All right, serious? Woo! Oh, shit. That's a beautiful cap, man. I hope you guys can go gra grab some. They're exclusive to Liz, all right? So uh, try to hit you up one. All right, look at that. The Shark Tooth Retro Line, New Era, all right? So that's a badass cap right there, all right? The other cap that they sent me um, is not a Retro Line, but it is a badass cap as well. Hit like on this video, guys. Um, I do appreciate it. This next cap here is badass too. All right, check this one out. This is what you call fire. <laughs> check this shit out, you ready? One, two, three. What the hell? Damn! That's right, guys. New Era. Coming with the fire. This is a fitted cap, New Era. All right. They do make two variations of this. They have it with the star, and then they also have it with the Texas outline of the state with the Cowboy Star into it. New Era. You get the Cowboy Star here on the side. Totally badass. Totally hot. All right. This cap is fire. Serious? Whew. Dang, man, it looks good. Look at that. Look at that light. It really hits the star, so it really, you know, has some pop. Has some pop, you know? So, uh... Two new caps into the cap mode rotation, guys. So, uh, I love it, I love it. Shout out to New Era, getting these caps out to me. Do appreciate those guys. Um, yeah, man, New Era's what's that. They're on top of the hat game. Cap game, what here? Another look again here. Shark Tooth, the New Era retro line, okay? The bottom is a gray gray on this one too so it's badass that's it guys just want to hit you uh, hit you up with these two new caps they will be in heavy rotation for cap mode for future videos all right how's everybody else doing hit like on this video if you guys uh, like the cowboys love the content here i appreciate all you guys all right thanks for everybody that, that uh, checked out the preseason post game video yesterday stock up stock down uh, we had a lot of good players that showed up in that game so it's good, man. We're getting close to the regular season. All right. We're getting close to it. Let's put one of these caps on. Let's do this. Man, caps badass, dude. I love that shark tooth. You know what I mean? So 
up everybody? Capital G, what's up everybody? Appreciate everybody that's hopped onto the chat room. Yeah. I, I used to have some of my old ones, but uh, you know, when I was younger, I didn't take care of my caps like I do now. So for them to come out with these retro caps are badass. I hope that eventually they can release some of the Cowboys Super Bowl caps. I do have my Super Bowl 30 cap and the back-to-back -back cap, but I miss the Rose Bowl cap. That one I loved. I, I, I like the color on that one. Uh, anybody have any quick questions on Cowboys thoughts on the final uh, roster spots? Who are you guys liking? Who are you liking? Anybody in the chat room? Any questions? All right. Kerry Hyder. I like Kerry Hyder. I think he's doing. I think he's doing his thing. Although um, Cowboys. You know they they roll the, they roll the dice on a lot of these free agents, but when they hit, they hit good. I I like Kerry Hyder, Christian Covington as well. Um, you know he's he looks good there in the middle. Uh, Wilson or Smith for the sixth spot. If it comes down to that, you know I I go for Wilson. Um, but if they go with Devin, I'm fine with that too. I just kind of worried about those back to back knee injuries with Devin Smith. Um, Donovan Wilson, yeah, I, I like him too. He's badass, dude. I think he, he um, you know, when you talk about drafting players, you talk about a high ceiling. He has a high ceiling because, you know, you get him late in the draft, um, but you already see some of the potential there. You know, he came out of the shot out of there like a missile, has great awareness, uh, you know, dragged the, the toe there to, uh, to make a successful turnover. And this, you know, this defense is really, you know, falling behind when it comes to enforcing turnovers. Great play by him. I was super impressed. Fifth quarter Cowboys, what's up, baby? What's up, man? Make sure you guys follow Fifth Quarter Cowboys. He'll hit you with the, the real honesty there. I like him a lot, following him a lot. May have him on as a guest here for the podcast. Remember, on Tuesdays, we do have the new podcast, thefriscoreport.com. Make sure you hit that up. We are the podcast is everywhere now. We're on iTunes, Google, Spotify, all right? And obviously Podbean. So we're on all the major networks. So hit, hit me up on there, all right? Give us a five-star review if you can. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping that Connor McGovern can be ready. Um, I don't know if they're going to start him on Pup or what. He did dress up for the game yesterday, but he didn't get any snaps that I saw. So, uh, we may need him. We, we may need him. I, I don't know if I trust Cameron Fleming there at left tackle. He's more of a right tackle, but they insist on putting him out there at the left tackle. He's not a left tackle. Fleming is a right tackle. So, if we can get McGovern back, and if we need Tyron Smith to sit a game or two this season, because he will. Tyron Smith will miss one or two games this year. You know, because that back flares up, it's hard to play through it. And uh, anybody that's had back pain, uh, a bulging disc or a pinched nerve, you know how painful it is to move through it. Um, and sometimes you even lose mobility, you know, in your leg, you know, depending on the severity of the back injury. So that can be a serious thing. We need to continue to monitor that. But the reason why I want Conor McGovern back is um, you can uh, – Put him, plug him there. Plug him in at the guard position and let let uh, Connor Williams, you know, take a shot there. You know, I like Connor uh, Williams better there at the left tackle than I do uh, Cameron Fleming. I just Fleming is too slow. <laughs> He's just too slow for a left tackle. Um, what else everybody got? Appreciate everybody that's hopped on here to the uh, quick live talk here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go back through here and then uh, we'll knock out some of these uh, some of these people. You know, I got some some of these smart asses in the in the chat room. Yeah, we'll, we'll knock you out of here. No problem. Some people don't understand football, um, but uh, <laughs> you know how it is, guys. You know how it is. Will he be replaced by Wilson? It's possible. You know. Um, but, you know, they do love Heath, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, what is up, Adrian? What's going on, man? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, Tavis, what's up, brother? Got a lot of good followers in here, man. Virginia, Virginia's finest, what's up? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Um, I do like Wilson. I think that the potential there. Hopefully, hopefully we can hit on hit on Wilson that way. The debate for drafting a safety in the draft will finally, uh, you know, kind of go away because you know every year we want to draft a safety and we want to draft one high. So if we can hit on Wilson, that'll be good. That'll be real good for us in the draft. We can be more flexible. All right. Um, what's everybody else got? Anybody else got anything else? Defense is fire, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, defense is looking good. Defense is looking good. That should have played a bit longer. Yeah, may maybe. Maybe. I, th I think, you know, for a lot of these guys, you already know who they are, how they're going to play. Um, you know, in the final preseason game, we're not going to see any of the starters. There's going to be full backups. You know, you'll probably, you might get a few from um, Cooper Rush, but you'll probably get a lot more from Mike White and, uh, and number five. I'm sorry, I forget his name right now. But I think he might be even better than, than Mike White. Yeah, Chris Westry, he's been injured, man. He, he just put himself out, you know, had a lot of potential, but uh, he's been his way too much time. So maybe a practice squad guy, but you know, it's not, all, it's not necessarily, you know, a done deal that the guys that were kind of pegging for the practice squad will make it. They gotta go through waivers. And there's other players that the Cowboys might actually like on other people's teams that, that fall through. So a lot of times you do see some familiar names come back to the practice squad, but every now and then you get like one or two that you get from, from another team. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. Yeah, Noah Brown, that situation there is baffling to me. I mean, yeah, I, I get, you know, some of the conversation that they say about He's a blocker. He's on special teams. But when? He's always hurt. How do you even get that out of him if he's not even playing? Like I, When somebody tells me that about Noah Brown being a special teamer, a run blocker, when? The guy's never on the field to even do that. Let's get that right. All right? So I hope they don't waste a roster spot on Noah Brown, man. I really don't. Put him on pop. Let Cedric Wilson and Devin Smith show out. And then um, that's it. You know, that's it. Uh, I'm for me personally. I'm done with Noah Brown. He's he's never out there. You can't you can't play with with, with team with players like that. Man, they just miss waste too much time. You know. Yeah, de yeah. Number fifteen, man, Devin Smith. He's a steal out of Ohio State. The guy had a, a first round grade on a lot of teams. He went, I think, in the second round to the Jets, but he had back to back ACL injuries um, that kind of robbed him early on in his career. But the Cowboys might hit on something here. You know, they might they might have something here with him. I, I hope he's able to to make it onto the team because I think he has a lot of potential. Gives you a deep threat. Am I right? Gives you a deep threat. Running backs. Who do you guys think make the running back? I think this is an interesting conversation. Obviously, you know, hopefully Zeke will in fact be here. You know, we've heard a lot of rumors that the deal would be done this weekend. We're already coming up on Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. Um, you know, it's kind of going back and forth with what people are reporting. So um, we'll see what happens there. But who, who do you guys like outside of that? Obviously, Tony Pollard, he'll be back. He'll be there. But who, who do you have after him? Jordan Chun? Uh, Darius Jackson? Alfredo? You know, Alfred, Alfred and Morris, and Mike Weber. Who do you have in there? All right. What combination of those guys do you like? Cheech and Chun. Or Cheech and, what's his name? Chun, Chun, Cheech and Chun. Yeah, Weber to practice squad. And that's kind of where it looks like they're heading with them. So who gets those final spots? How deep do they go at running back? That's really what I want to know because last year they really only carried two. They had Zeke. Rod Smith, and then they had, you know, Ala Wale. So they really only carry three at the 53 cuts. So I feel like the uncertainty with Zeke, you know, they may have to carry, you know, four. So we'll see. We'll see. Hard choice on running backs. Yeah, it is. And there are, there's going to be a lot of good players that don't make this team, you know, because the, the, the roster is just improved over the last few seasons. 
there's going to be good players hitting the market for other teams. So uh, we'll see what happens. Cooper over Dak? No. <laughs> uh, I think that's it, guys. Just want to hit up on, on the caps here real quick. I love these retro line new era get you one if you can hit it up i will be out there on some games at&t stadium i will let you guys know and i'll be out there for some of the games i'm looking more towards when it gets a little cooler i don't really catch any of the september games so i'll be out probably in um october november i'm gonna catch catch a couple games i'll let you know when, when we hit it up I might do like a meet and greet with some of you guys we'll see what we can do um, but thanks for everybody that hit it. Uh, the chat here live, chat room. Thanks, everybody. Hit the like button on this. Um, let's get the likes up. And anybody that catches the replay, I really do appreciate it, guys. I'll see you guys for the next video, guys. Peace.